In this video, I'm showing you how to use Lively Wallpaper. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this video right until the end, so in the full guide. And let's go and jump into this. The first thing you want to do is go and open up your web browser. And I'm personally using Google Chrome and you want to come to a search engine such as Google. And of course, all we need to do is go and search for Lively Wallpaper, just like so, and go and press enter. And make sure you come to the official website which is this rockstanister.github.io and it's the lively wallpaper by Rock Stanister. So click here and it's going to take you up to load and here we are. Then all we want to do once you're here is come and click on the download button just here and it's going to go and scroll us down to the website. And as you can see there are two different options to go and download this. Either you can go and use the installer or we can go and get it from Microsoft. Both of these downloads are going to lead to the exact same program but I personally just use the installer. But if you like the Microsoft store then go and use that. So I'm going to click on installer and now it's going and starting the download. It's around 200 megabytes so I'll catch up with you guys once it's gone and finished. And if you're interested the system requirements are just below the download. So as you can see it's now finished so either it's going to be in the bottom of your browser or you can go and find it in your downloads folder in your file explorer. Then all you want to do is go and launch it just like so, so go and click on it and it's going to take a moment to load. And as you can see there are two different install modes. I'm going to go and click install for all users which means I'm going to go and get a Windows security pop-up as you just heard and then you want to go and set the language. I'm going to use English and then I'm going to go and just continue. So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to go and read through this agreement and go and agree to it. And then you can go and choose where Lively is actually installed. So it's going to be here for me. And I'm going to go and click on next. And then you've got these options here to go and create a desktop shortcut and start with Windows. I'm personally going to have those both turned off for now and then go and click next. And then it's just going to finalize it. And then you can go and click install. Then it's going to go and extract the files and get everything ready. Now just a quick note, if you haven't got some of these additional features Lively does need, such as .NET Core, this is going to take a bit of time for it to go and install them, so just sit back and relax and be patient. I'm going to go and restart my now and then go and show you the next step. And then if you need to go and restart your PC, it's going to do that and then you're going to go and get the Lively setup. So then all you want to do is go and click on next, just like so. And we have this option here saying start with Windows, so I'm going to have mine on. I'm going to have the user interface as normal, you can have that as light if you've got a low end system. Then go and click next once again. And then you have the option to go and change your taskbar theme and change the system taskbar interface. I'm going to keep that off for now personally, but that's going to be up to you. Now what we need to do is, as you can see, it's as lively as minimized to the system tray. So we need to go and locate this. So all you want to do is go and click on this up arrow in the bottom right of your computer where it says show hidden icons. Then we can go and locate lively, which is this sort of rainbow flower. Right click on it and then go and click open lively. When you first open up lively, it's going to go and take you to the default backgrounds it has, which are already installed within it, which is super awesome. And in just a moment, I'll show you how to do the custom ones, but let's go and test one out. For example, let's go and try the um, parallax just here. So I'm going to go and click on it just like so. And it's going to take a minute to update and there we go. So I'm now just going to move lively out the way so you guys can see. So that's quite cool to be honest. It sort of moves where you put your mouse. And just a quick note, if you want to go and change your second monitor, then all you need to do is go and click on the control panel in the top right with the monitor logo. And then you need to go and select the other monitor. As you can see, I've changed monitor two, but not monitor one. So go and click your other monitor and then you can go and either go and click duplicate the same wallpaper or you can just go and choose each one at a time. Um, so it's going to depend on how you want to do it. Anyways, let's go and quit off this. And now I want to go and show you how you can do custom backgrounds. So to do that, all you want to do is come over to the left hand side. So we've got this plus button just here and it's going to have add wallpaper. So click here. So as you can see, we've got this option up here which says we can go and select a file or specify a website URL to set as a wallpaper. So to do that, all you need to do is go and click on browse and you can then go and upload a wallpaper. Or you can go and use the YouTube option as well. So all you want to do is hop into YouTube and type in something like live wallpaper and then it's going to go and have a ton of wallpapers we can go and use. And you can go and watch the videos and once you go and see one you like, all you need to do is go and click on it just like so. And then you need to go and copy the link, so come up here. And if you want to use it as your background, then all you want to do is come up. Then you want to go and double click on it, just like so. And then right click and go and click on copy. And then we can go and open up Lively once again. And then in the enter URL box, all you want to do is go and paste in the link. So I'm going to delete this currently and go and press the X. And then go and right click, just like so. And go and click paste. And then go and click on this arrow pointing to the right. Click on it. And boom, it's then going to go and update it, just like so. And then all you need to do is go and click OK. 
and then it's gonna go and change your background. And there we go, I'll just move lovely out of the way and here is our awesome background. Of course, you can use any background you like, which is available online and you can download them as well. And just before I go and finish this video off, the really important part is you need to come to the bottom left where you've got the settings option here, so click here. Now, what you need to really make note of is some of these wallpapers are gonna have background sound. And that's gonna be really annoying if you're trying to watch a YouTube video or something like that. So to go and change that, come to your settings and then come and locate like, hey, audio, and you want to go and make sure this is fully turned off. This is gonna have no sound coming from any of the wallpapers, so you can use your PC like normal. And there's also a ton of awesome options within the general, um, performance, wallpaper, and other stuff as well, so it's all fully customizable. But there we go, guys. That is how you can go and use Lively Wallpaper. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.